Hello, I'm Ben Gertzel, and I want to talk to you for a few minutes about an incredibly exciting project called Rejuve Biotech, which I've, I've co-founded with, with a number of my colleagues. Rejuve Biotech, it's an AI project. It's a really interesting AI company, but it's not just any AI company. It's an AI company focused on deploying the most advanced AI tools we have today to solve a problem of quite acute importance to all of us who find ourselves in human bodies, which is the problem of aging and death. Biotechnology, genomics, metabolomics, epi epigenomics, these disciplines have been advancing at an incredible pace. AI has concurrently been advancing at an even more incredible pace, bringing these developments together, bio is our AI technology, which really is the culmination of a number of different AI threads that my colleagues and I have been working on for decades. You know, I first began experimenting with the application of AI to longevity genomics in 2001, shortly after the, after the Human Genome Project first succeeded, and I was then experimenting with analyzing human genome data in a system called the Novamente Cognition Engine. Well, Novamente Cognition Engine was open source in 2008. It became the original OpenCog system, which I applied to genomic data regarding longevity in a, in a, in a host of different ways. We also have a couple of secret data sauces that we're feeding in. One of these comes from our partner project, Rejuve Network. Rejuve Network has the Rejuve app, which has a number of network members putting data into the into the into the app all the time about their own health and, and, and their own life. And the data that they put into this app goes into the Rejuve Network secure data commons. Now, Rejuve Network AI is is crunching this all the time, discovering new things. But through Rejuve Biotech's partnership with Rejuve Network, we can take this data and we can feed it appropriately secured. We can feed it into our OpenCog Hyperon system. And that combines with all the other data in there. We don't understand everything about aging and death now, but we do understand a lot. And one of the things we understand is there's going to be no single silver bullet. Like there's there's not one gene where if you trunk it, suddenly you're going to live to 150. There's not one pathway or one tissue that if you fix it, you're going to live to, to 200 or, or 500. I mean, there's, there's a whole bunch of things going wrong with your body as you age. They're on different levels of the organism. They're in different biological pathways. They're in different organs and, and systems in, in, the, in the organism. We have all these amazing elements that we can that we can put together to do things so much better than we were able to do in, in the past. So it's really quite clear to me, if we put together the data from these long-lived flies, we put together the data from the members of Rejuve Network, we put that together with all the other data that we've glommed together into the bio atom space from reading research papers and sucking in publicly available biomedical data sets, right? We put all this together into our cutting edge AI systems. Well, we do supplements first, we do drugs after, we do gene therapies after that. We work on all three of these directions in, in, in parallel. And in this way, we can achieve longevity, escape velocity relatively rapidly and, you know, achieve our goal of radically prolonging human health span as, as soon as possible. I'm working side by side with the technology team applying AI and, and machine learning to the data coming out of the fly lab and coming out of, of, of Rejuve Network. And I'm, I'm really, really psyched to be offering an equity crowdfund through Net Capital and inviting, you know, people all across the map to join in and become part owners of, of Rejuve Biotech. I mean, avoiding involuntary death is important to every single one of us on, on, on the planet. Not, 
not many people actually want to get old and die when you come down to it. Like we come to accept that this is uh, this is what historically has happened. But I, I mean, almost all human beings would rather live a much longer, healthy life if, if it were possible. So healthy longevity is for everyone. And participation in the company that's going to make healthy longevity happen should also be for everyone. And that's why we're doing this equity crowdfund. So please, you know, if you're in a position to afford to participate in the equity crowdfund, please do, right?